next. Let's pick up where we left off last week. Now, last time we were talking about your relationship with the villagers. How's that going? Oh, don't you even get me started on those villagers. They still chase me with torches all the time. I'm like, it's the 21st century. Buy a friggin' flashlight, for God's sakes. You're not exactly a people person, are you? I'm made of people. Hmm, yes. Moving right along, uh, how are you doing with the smoking? Cutting back at all? It's just so hard to quit, you know. I've really tried to kick the habit, but I just love that smooth, refreshing taste. Anybody got a light? Fire! Fire bad! Fire bad! Well, lately I feel as if I've been gorging myself on brains, then. It's as if I have no self-control, I don't. Why are you British? So, last week we had been discussing your issues with commitment. Have you made any headway? Well, the whole different neck every night lifestyle finally caught up with me. Just last week I was with this supple young debutante, totally ready to make her a soldier in the army of the undead. I sink my fangs in, and boom! Adam's apple. Hmm. I mean, I drink blood, but that's twisted even for me. This seems to be really upsetting you. You're telling me? Ever since it happened, I've been wetting the coffin. Do you know what it's like to wake up in the casket full of your own urine? Yes. It seems to me that you really need to take a look at yourself. You need to take some time to reflect. I literally cannot reflect. Hmm. You need to take a look at that black heart of yours and really think about what makes you tick. What makes Dracula happy? What have you always wanted to do with this pale, lovelorn existence of yours? Well, I've always wanted to start a Dan Fogelberg cover band. Then get out there and do it. Look out, world! My fangs are sharp, and I'm ready to suck! Hey! Is that the sucker? Mm, vampiric eyeballs! Dracula doesn't like dudes! <laughs> 